Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Asunkut awesome Valhalla video. Some of you might or might not have missed the connection with the tribute at the end of the last tomb. So warning, spoilers ahead. This video will include cutscenes and of course the ending for the tombs of the fallen in Asunkut Valhalla. So without further talking, when you are getting into Eden Station, aka the last tomb of the fallen from the new patch 1.6.1. Well, some of you might actually wonder why the AI is having glasses. That is a tribute, basically, and we are diving a little bit deeper into that one in one moment. But of course, if you haven't done the tombs, if you don't want any spoilers, now it is your time to click off. Or if you are just starting the tombs, or if you are stuck into the tombs, I have tons of guides. I will leave a playlist video link in the description box and a couple helpful videos in the pinned comment. Also guiding you to get everything you need in order to enter this Eden Ring Station. Also I think the Tombs of Fallen Part 2 was delayed, just so they could make the tribute. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. Personally I think this was a really beautiful gesture, so we cannot be that mad. And before the ending there is a couple hints to whom this tribute is for. Hint 1, the name of the AI. Hint 2. The face of the AI. So, do you know already or not? But the dead giveaway was actually the ending. So, let's see, let's see. In a few short moments, in the cutscene, the mysterious voice will change and the AI will introduce themselves and pronouncing the name. So, let's see, let's see. So, you aren't a god. A spirit then. Not in the sense that you mean. I am a cognitive operating system charged with the management of this defensive node. I borrow the appearance of Ra Salis, the author of the Rings of Eden initiative. Are you the one so there we go, almost dead giveaway about who this is about. And I'm gonna spoil it right now, so it is gonna be Russell Lee's a long time Ubisoft writer, director, known for his work for Assassin's Creed franchise. He actually did pass away earlier this year, and there will be similar text cutscene that we had in Dawn of Ragnarok for example. So let's take a look of the cutscenes, and hopefully so far you have enjoyed. If you have, I would really appreciate a like. That much I well understood. What must I do? The solution lies at the power core deep within the station. I will guide you to it. More of a tool. But it has been used in defense of this facility. As its legend grew, people took to calling it the Blazing Sword, ignoring its more practical functions. How long did it take your people to build this place? We were aware of the threat for several of your centuries. The project was played with delays and in the end we grew complacent. Fortunately, we don't have that luxury of time. What must I do? Draw it from the pedestal. Once released, the blade will absorb the station's power and trigger the shutdown sequence. If the fates have led me here, I must take hold of my destiny. <sighs> <sighs> Well done, Neutron. You are a most effective piece of engineering. <laughs> a most impressive tool, Spirit. The engine dies, and the Guardian Spirit with it.
There we go. So, Russell Lee's rest in peace. I think that is why the Tombs of the Fallen took a little bit longer than was expected. And I am totally fine with that one. How about you? And overall, I did really enjoy the Tombs of the Fallen. But before rolling the outro, I really want to thank my channel members and top donators of the channel. You guys are awesome. There's a join button below this video if you want to become part of the elites. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.